Again, good cards. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Face Fetters is a really good removal spell. It removes everything and anything except for lands, basically. It can even remove lands with special abilities. So that's a card. Um, Windswept Heath, just for more fixing. Which is actually, I think, where I need to go here. Desecration Demon might wheel. Probably will wheel. It's a pretty good card, though. Eh. That guy's not great. Bone Splitter. Um... Yeah, I think I want the land more than face fetters. So, land. What does Brago do? Eh, nothing. So, Unexpectedly Absent is a card here I'm looking at. Uh, so is City of Brass. Just for more fixing, because I have so many double cast cards. I'm not sure there. Uh, I think it's more important to play my spells, probably. So I could pick up a Worm Coil Engine, which is a pretty nice card. And a Bliving Ring, Divining Top. Or Soldier of the Pantheon. I think I'm going to get the Worm Coil just for, like, if I'm getting flooded out. It's pretty good. More lands. Kami would be decent. So we've got Hero's Downfall here. Can we sort into like non-creature? I've got one, two, trying to look for my removal, three, because that's been something I have been undervaluing for is removal. Wasteland's not bad here, actually. Maybe that's what I pick up. Ooh, ooh, out of time. I don't know. So, Reflecting Pool is good for me. Uh, so is Eight and Half Tails, actually. I think that's my pick, but 
Lifebane Zombie. Uh, eight and a half tails. I like eight and a half tails because it's good early and it's good late. What's Soren do again? Soren doesn't really seem that powerful for his cost. What's Rebel Arc do again? I'm gonna go with this guy. What's this? Hmm. Ooh, that guy's good. This guy's good. Lily's actually good. Well, he might be a good late game. Um, I think I'll get Lily for some late game action. Desecration Demon seems not bad. I don't know, though. Uh, more flying dudes. I think that's the pick, yeah. Ooh, it did wheel. I was wondering. We also have Grey Merchant. Um, how much... I think Grey Merchant might be good here. Maybe, eh. No, I need a value removal high. Well, you guys are going to just tear this draft to pieces. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I know how I feel every time I draft. Uh, yeah, destroy a monocolor. Well... Sure. Oh, Kami. Psychotog. Uh, momentary Blink's really the only... Living Death or Marari's Wake. I could actually play Marari's Wake. Marari's Wake's pretty good, actually. So I have no idea where to build, and I'm sorry, I'm taking momentary blink out. Mana tithe can go. Honor the pure, what does that do? White creature, I, I think I might actually have a deck that works with that. I have a bunch of tokens. Uh, let's, let's get the preview panel out there so I can, this is definitely a preview panel kind of draft. Okay, so let's look at like a really heavy white build uh, and take out, oh, I don't even know what to take out, Hero's Downfall, Hypnotic Specter, uh, Mesmeric Fiend, Gnarled Scarhide. Vampire Hex Mage. Keeper. Um, is Damnation a card that I take out of this deck? I don't even know. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what's going on. Yes, I take it out. Uh, okay, so now I'm down to 36 cards. 
I'm going to take the lands out. They will come back in. Mindstone, my f pack one, pick one, actually doesn't fit like any of my decks very good. I mean, it's it's a good card, so there's no way I'm taking it out, but like it's not worth the pack one, pick one. So let's look at my tokeny cards. There's a tokeny card. 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 There's an awesome card I should just like point out. Uh, Thalia is a card I need to keep in mind whether or not to run. Honor the Pure is a tokeny card. Uh, actually, Marhardi's Wake is a tokeny card as well. So, how many token producers do I have? One. Two, three, um, no, four, five. Honor the Pure just doesn't seem good enough. Maybe I'm wrong there. We're still at 30 cards. Spiral for return doesn't seem good enough. Uh, that's a sideboard card. How many humans do I have? One. Uh, pff, not like any. So Sathrid Necromancer is not great. I've got three, maybe? And four? Exalted Angel was a nice pickup. Like, I didn't even really acknowledge getting that card, and it's, it's pretty good. So this deck's looking pretty solid. Uh, Lightning Greaves. Actually seems like a card I could take out. It just doesn't fit the deck. Uh, it's like a, a big stuff, really powerful stuff type of card. Probably drafted it too high. <sighs> Vampire Hex Mage seems like it should go back in. So should Bloodline Keeper. So should Hypnotic Specter. So should Damnation. So should Heroes Downfall. And now we are. How much time do I have? Shh. I've taken over half my time here. Okay. Yosei can go out. Uh. Worm coil? Ugh. Thalia, cause I, just because I don't know how it's going to like effect and I can uh, ultimate price it's good to have inside board but yeah
so much bad mana. But I do have a lot of mana fixing. And I only need to play one forest. Okay, so I need to take out four cards or three cards? Three or four cards. Maybe the Bloodline Keeper. Yeah. Vampire Hex Mage can be sideboard. Probably it will always go in. Bully Vest can be sideboard. Let's look at uh, CMC. I should have been looking at that for a while now. Uh, wow, so crunch for time. Uh, we'll just play 16 lands. Okay, so add basic lands. One forest. Three swamps. I feel like I want to want to throw at least four in there. So we have a deck. We don't know what it does yet, but we will see. I'm going to submit. And should I even pause it? 